Hi, it's me again. Uh, last week I neglected to introduce myself. So I'm Casey Vanderveen, um, and pastor of Water Street to Christian Reformed Church. And uh, this is Advent season. And the series that we're doing is um, God knocking on the door of our lives somewhere. And uh, last week, Sunday, I talked about God knocking on our family's door. And that, and that when God enters into the door of our family, it affects everyone. Um, you know, it's one thing when someone else has a religious experience. It's quite another when it's a family member. It impacts us a little different. It hits us closer to home. Uh, when it's a family member, it's a little more in your face, if you know what I mean. I mean, I, I wonder what um, Aaron and Miriam said or, or, or when Moses said, hey, I met God in a burning bush, guys. What did they say to that? And about, what about Balaam's family, another character of the Old Testament, um, who uh, hit his donkey because his donkey was misbehaving until God let him, uh, well, until his donkey spoke to him and answered him. And then God opened his eyes so he could see this angel with a sword standing in front of his donkey, which explained the donkey's poor behavior. Um, I, what, is, what does his family say when he says, oh, my donkey spoke to me and I saw an angel standing in front of the donkey? I mean, what would you do if one of your family members had a paranormal experience of some sort? I mean, could you share in their excitement and their enthusiasm? Could you support them? I mean, and what happens if you doubt the veracity or the authenticity of their experience and what they're telling you? Well, a few things. One, I, I, I would hope that we wouldn't judge. You know, say, oh, ooh, that's a real weird religious experience. Or uh, maybe even worse, oh, that's something for weak people to help bolster their faith. Uh, that's, that's kind of a negative. Um, and then there's negative advice that doesn't really work either. You know, stuff like, um, well, that's an interesting experience. It sounds like a mountaintop thing, but don't worry about it. Normal life will settle back in. It's okay. Um, not really helpful. And not helpful either to be overly dramatic, uh, you know, and then, and then treat your family member like, ooh, they're some kind of a super Christian. Look what, look what happened with them. Um, you know, it, it, maybe it's better if we, we, the thing that we could do is to let them know, hey, that's a wonderful thing. It's a gift from God. It's a real blessing. It's a confirmation of God's love for us. I mean, that experience is actually in line with what Scripture teaches. I mean, the Apostle Paul says his desire for the parishioners of the Church of Ephesus is that the eyes of their hearts would be enlightened so that they might know the hope to which God has called them. And that um, God would give them a spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they could know him better. And Peter advises we should add to our faith um, a bunch of different virtues lest we become nearsighted and blind. The bottom line here is that um, we can have these wonderful experiences and so should our family members um, and friends as well. It's not a crazy thing. It's a love thing. Think about that. For God so loved the world, including our family, that he sent his only son to knock on our door. So when we answer, maybe we should expect him to say, hey, I have some neat things for us to do together. And we should expect that other people in our own faith community, well, they'll get it. They'll understand that. Maybe they've had similar sorts of things happen for them as well. Remember Jesus' own words to Nicodemus who came to visit him at night. He said, you're Israel's teacher and you don't understand these things, Nicodemus? I tell you truly, um, we speak of what we know. We testify about the things that we have seen. And still your people, they do not, do not accept our testimony. I've spoken to you about earthly things, Nicodemus. What are you going to do when I speak to you about heavenly things? Something to consider this Advent season. God bless. Bye-bye.